A good way to add an additional layer of security to your newly configured server is to disable password authentication and also disable root user access. This means that your server will only allow SSH key authentication using the public and private key pair we created earlier. It also means there will be no access granted for the root user, so important configuration files cannot be accidentally or maliciously tampered with. To update these settings on your server, open PuTTY or Terminal and log into your server using the user Bob. After you've connected to your server, open the sshd config file using the following command. Now change the following settings in this file. On this line, permit root login, change it to no. And change this setting. Remove the comment and change the value to no. Now press Control X to exit. Make sure you hit Y to save the changes and press enter. Now reboot your server. So we'll give that a couple of minutes to reboot and then we'll test to see what happens when we try to log in as root or using a plain text password. Our server has now been rebooted. I'll start by trying to connect and log in as root user. I'll type root and press enter and you can see right away that we're disconnected because we attempted to log in as root that is no longer allowed now i'll try to log in as user bob using a plain text password and not the ssh key authentication and again we're disconnected right away this time, I'll attempt to log in using SSH key authentication under the Bob user. So I've loaded the private key for user Bob, and I'm going to click open. And now you can see it's asking for our passphrase. And we're now logged in. So we can only log in now using SSH key authentication, which is much more secure.